Hey Lord, my name is Good Morning. Come back for a new series. Well, not really new. I'd say an old game, but uh, first time playing uh, for me playing this game actually, and it's the remastered version that came out uh, yesterday. As I'm talking, I'm recording this on the previous day that uh, it came out. So, Total War Rome Remastered, boys. I've actually never played. This is one of the few Total War games that I've actually never got to play in my early life. Um, and I'm excited to play it. It's the remastered version. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much the same as Total War Rome 2. Except from a few di like diff major differences. Because obviously this is older. Um, I already know who I want to play as. I'm not going to be easy on it and play as the Romans. This is kind of uh, would be a boring let's play, right? I want to do make a little bit different. I actually want to go for the Macedonians. I, I want to try and get uh, the former empire uh, of Alexander the Great into uh, what it was, right? I want to try and expand it back to what it was. So we're going to try that one out. Uh, Alexander the Great created the largest empire the world has ever seen. After his death, his generals, the Diodici, fought each other for a prize that none could claim, and the empire splintered. Macedonia, Alexander's homeland, is now ruled by the descendants of his trusted general, Antigonus the One-Eyed, and has the potential to be a formidable power once more. The Antigone dynasty commands the respect of its people and has strong military tradition. Through long years struggling against the order, the uh, other day are the Chi states. The Macedonians have become deadly warriors and fierce opponents. The military might could be turned against the other nations for domination of the Eastern Mediterranean and Asia Minor. And then perhaps a new Greek Empire will rise to match that of Alexander's. Absolutely. This is my true goal, boys, is to bring back Alexander's uh, former glory, uh, gor glorious empire. After you see, he died around 20 23 or something like that, right? I think that's when he died or something like that. And uh, we're not that far off from that. It's about for 50, it's, a bit, it's been about 50 years since Alexander uh, died, boys. I think it's time to bring it back. We get like some territories here and there. Uh, if you, you can see here what our main uh, stuff are, so we got some uplights some pike uh, phalanxes and we got a powerful cavalry which is really gonna help us out i'm gonna be playing on easy because i'm obviously a pussy i don't know i, I don't i don't like playing on hard boys and i'm equipping mods anyway so making it a bit uh tougher uh, on us so i am gonna be, equi be equipping uh it on high for the advice level i don't think i need it that much we're gonna have arcade battles on so battles are gonna be quicker and less realistic more morale fatigue everything like that is going to be out of the key out of the out of the way boys i don't want to have to deal with that realistic governance i am going to keep that though so if we want to make a major difference like if we want to modify a settlement we are going to have to have a governor in there which is basically a general so we got to keep that in mind no battle time limit i i'm going to leave that off because i do want some time limit Follow the characters, sure, and short campaign, I'm not going to do that. Let's just go straight into it, ha have a little bit of fun. I think everything's fine, you can see, you can always bring it back to the classic stuff, but I'm going to keep it at the remastered, boy, so let's hop on in and have some fun as the Macedonians. may come again the fates still spin the web of men's lives so now perhaps the gods wish greeks to be great again perhaps a new alexander will take up the sword 
bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better place. Perhaps. All right, everyone. Finally, uh, in the menu and everything, uh, or in the the actual game itself. As you can see, we are starting at war with uh, the Greeks. We're already at war with them. I think there are free city state or something like that. I don't know. I think they're. Uh, I, I thought the the Greeks were actually a thing or not or whatnot, but I guess not. We are starting with a few a few cities, four cities in total. Thessalonia, Nika, of course, is our main capital. We can switch to any capital we want if we will go here. Uh, we press that little button it's gonna make it our capital we can choose whatever capital we want now obviously if i uh get addings or something i'll take it as my capital or something like that but for now seems like we're okay and there's also as you can see right here the the wonders are actually in the game you can see right here there's one of the wonders the statue of zeus at olympia that's pretty cool boy so there's these little things here and there i've got a couple of mods equipped I've got a mod that's equipped that's basically making a multiplier money of five times. So I'm going to make five times more money than is I'm actually making per turn. I'm already making quite a lot of money uh, though. Uh, if we take a look really quick. Oh, hold on. I'm pressing a bunch of stuff right here. Uh, I want to go into fleets. No. Armies. Settlements. I want to see how much money I'm getting actually. So if we take a look right here. Alerts. No, not really. No, not there. Where do I go for this? I think I gotta go here. Yeah, I think... No, this is not what I want to go. This is the, the main capital. Okay, so this is what I want to press. Yeah, okay. So, how much money? End of the turn balance. So, this is how much money we're gaining per turn, I think. Uh, it's going to show us probably in a better place right here. Let me see really quick. Move, move followers. No, that's not what I meant to do. Where are we at right now? Man, okay. There we go. Finally, there we go. So finance, the uh, finance boys. So we are making seven thousand gold per turn, basically, and we're starting off with five hundred, five k, for the first turn. We're not gonna be able to do too much with that, but it's, uh, it's fine. Uh, what I do want to do, since I've got another mod that basically, uh, makes my population public order for every settlement at uh, five for uh, five hundred percent, what I can manage to do is basically I, I, I can change their thing up hold on change your thing where do i change the uh, settlement income there we go settlement income we can set it at high boys so it gives us a lot more income everywhere so that's what we're going to do high uh, high tax rate at, for every single city that we get just because i do want to get as much money per turn as possible and uh, we'll see how much uh, that makes a difference really quick so if we go back right here now we're making 8,000, see? So 1, 000, 1K more than we uh, did previously. Now, uh, the first few games, I'm going to uh, rock you guys through how it works exactly if you never played the earlier uh, Total War games. I've played Medieval 2 uh, quite often, especially with the Rise of Mortar mod. The way it works is you actually need a diplomat, which I don't think this, this is the guy. Yeah, this is my diplomat. You need a diplomat in order to can uh, interact with other civilizations uh, so you need to send that diplomat somewhere that you want to interact with so say if i want to interact with the actual greeks which this is the greeks right here when i interact with them i need to send them over here which is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to send them over here right here there we go all right and uh, i don't want to send anybody here we're just going to conquer aliens real quick uh there this is my spy so we don't know anything aside um right now uh, on the other regions we don't really know too much so we're just gonna send him here collect a bit of information right here so we don't see too much uh we did uncover a uh, new civilization it looks like i don't know who these guys are as you can see we need more diplomat to interact with these guys but right now we're gonna start uh slowly we've got corinth which is a pretty uh a big city first thing i want to do is upgrade my settlements for sure so uh, further information, you can always check what it does. Now, this, the information is very, very small. It's smaller than I remember it to be. Uh, I didn't think it would be that small, but all right. I guess it's fine. So what do we have as Garnis, uh, Garrison right here? Damasco, uh, Damasos? First off, we, want, we need to see into our actual people. So we got a faction leader. Our faction leader is Intiganus. It's uh, 50 years old. 
Get some followers, faction leaders, a bunch of bonuses. Actors, followers, okay. What about, uh, okay, so he's got a governor. So all these governors are all the, the guys that are basically a part of the, uh, the big generals. Our governors are, uh, are, are generals, basically. That's how it works, boys. It's nothing too crazy or anything. Uh, what about this? What if I do this right here? What does that mean? Oh, that's just uh, to see the city. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to do auto manage. Uh, if I do auto manage, it's going to do the construction itself. Well, I, I think I want to do the construction myself and everything. So we're going to uh, up uh, back in. Uh, I think Corinth is already good enough as it is. Same thing for Larissa. Uh, Telesinica, of course, is our capital. So we kind of want to move upgrade it as much as possible. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. Who is that guy? Oh, we have a fleet. We have a fleet, boys. That's interesting. Wait, we can send that fleet over here then. Yeah, we can probably build a build on that fleet. So let's let's go over here and actually... Can I actually upgrade my fleet or anything? I think I can, right? Let me see really quick. Uh, what about my fleet right here? That's that's the one I want to upgrade. What? I, why can't I... Um, why can't I build anybody? Can I, I, I can't build anything with my army or whatever. I don't know how it works, boys. I don't know how to build uh, my navy up uh, just yet. I don't remember that. We're going to go right here. There we go. And we're going to go on the shores. I don't think you can actually do any battles with the navy then. I think it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I think they're just... I don't know what the navy is for, actually. So, whatever. All right, so first thing for, we're going to do... I want to take over add-ins, right? So what we're gonna do, boys, is we're gonna um, we're gonna boost up our army right here. We already have an archer and some uplights, which are basically melee units, some spearmen, right? So uh, with our archer, I think what we gotta do is obviously we can build some a diplomat, or we can build some peasants, which are light infantry. So we can't really build too much right here. So if I want to build an army, I would have to to build it over here or send my army over uh, over to the south. I think that's what I would uh, I, I need to do. Uh, we're going to do we're going to send my cavalry over here and we're going to send all my special units over here actually. There we go. So send them over. I'm actually do I need three cavalry? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to send them over right there. There we go. Send them over and I'm going to continue to send all my army together right here. Actually, we can build some light lancers, which is a light cavalry, but nothing too crazy. What about Thessalonia, our main capital? What can we build? So I still don't know what the Byremes, like the ships, can do. So I'm not going to go for that. We got some pikemen. Some, some peer, uh, spearmen would be great. I guess that could be good, but I need some actual, like, archers right now. I can't build any archers. Doesn't seem like I can get build any archers, boys. This is a problem. This is a problem for sure. All right, so we're going to go into the cities then and we're going to start building like barracks or something like that. There we go. Uh, uh, let's see really quick what is it going to give us. Barracks are going to give us some up lights. Uh, stables are going to give us some cavalry. Uh, practice range is going to give us some peltas. So missile, some missile infantry. What about this? Blacksmith. It's going to give us a trader, governor's villa. Uh, communal for uh, farming market market is giving us the merchant and the spy um, I think the merchants to do uh, trade uh, trade uh, agreements right I think that's how it works I think what I want to do is I want to go for the practice range I want yeah I want to go for the practice range boys because right now uh, barracks and practice range for uh, bo uh, both this place all right now we still got 3k so we're gonna create a, bar a barracks and practice range. Every uh, turn is gonna it's a one turn uh, per building basically, and recruitments as well. So it's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah. So I wanna do I wanna do that. Do we have barracks over here? I don't think so. We've got some stables, but we don't have barracks. Yeah. I wanna I wanna get some barracks everywhere. Uh, we do need walls though. Yeah. We do need walls. Hold on. Yeah. So let's get some walls over and some barracks as well. Uh, do we have practice range? We don't have practice range. We don't have a port as well. Uh, communal farming would give us a lot of food and stuff. And do we need food actually? I think uh, I think we're good on food, right? Where where's our food uh, food at? Where's our production? I don't know. I actually don't know. I just don't know. 
Shrine to Iris, so effects are dependent on a particular guard worship of the temple. Public order bonus. Okay, so this is just a public order bonus. I don't need to build these boys. Uh, what about uh, the port? I'm kind of tempted to go for a port right here, uh, but maybe some paved roads will be great as well. Uh, I've got 600 left. A trader, not really. I can't really build anything else right now. Yeah, I can't really build anything else. So we're going to save our money for the first turn right here, boys. We're going to save it right here. I don't have anything else going on. My diplomat, one and only diplomat that I've got. Uh, I'm going to send him over to Greece, see what I can do with them. And I think we're going to be good. So let's just turn the, make the first turn, get it rid of, get rid of it, boys. All right, we're into the next turn. It went pretty quick. Not too much to see, boys. Uh, what uh, first thing I want to do, so I want to still build on my army is now the Spartans, which are Greeks, I guess. They're looking to be pretty dangerous. They've got some uh, army right here. Well, a small army nonetheless. I don't think they could attack me. I don't know if they want to attack me. I'm not sure, actually. It's not very, uh, it's not a certainty or anything. I'm going to send this guy over here or over here, please. There we go. Perfect. So now it's vandalizing this at least. So I've got how many melee units I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five melee units. Kind of need, uh, and I only have one cavalry. I need a, like a general or something, right? I definitely need a general. Who would be my general right here? I think this guy would be the best. Or maybe this guy. I don't know who my best. My That's my factionaire, so that's my son. I think I would probably be the best, right? I'm the faction leader, aren't I? Yes, I am. And who is this guy right here? Oh, these are just some rebels and stuff. Oh, there's some rebels outside our walls, boys, right? Okay. That's not good, boys. Uh, our rebels outside our walls, we don't want to see that. I am going to get my faction there over here. There we go, just like that. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, how do we get a general, by the way? I don't know how do we uh, how we get one, but uh, I think we're gonna be fine, right? We can still build some stuff. I think so. Yeah. All right. So uh, my general right here. Do we have uh, still my armies right here? Yeah. Don't have anything for them. What about over here? We've got some uh, archers over here, so we're just gonna send them over. There we go. Just gonna build my army. I need more archers. Definitely need more archers, boys. I gotta build on these. Uh, uh, on these soldiers, so we got 23k. I'm I'm gonna build upon an army right here. Since I've got barracks and stuff, I think I can now I can uh, get some missile player people. Yeah, so I'm gonna build a couple like missile pe people right here. Build a couple of them, and uh, I still got peasants, so don't want to build anything else right now. Over here, what do we want to build? Well, I think we don't have anything really, right? I I don't want to go for cavalry. It's kind of useless for me. I think Levi Pikemans might be the best option. So just just some Levi Pike, uh, Pikemans over here just to solidify this area. And same thing for you. Uh, you've got some uplights. So just build upon some uplights. Protect yourself as much as possible. I think you're going to be good. Uh, this settlement is auto-managed. Okay, so that's what happens, I guess. So if we don't have... No, I don't want to do that. No, don't. Don't auto-manage this. Here's what happens. I guess it's auto-managing the, the, uh, the stuff. So does that mean it's giving me less money? Diplomatic policy? I don't know. I don't, I don't like this. I hope it's not like screwing up my stuff right now. If I'm still building on people, can I build um, some, some uh, palace like missiles? I can't build any mercenaries. That's bullshit. Can't build any of them, boys. All right. Whatever, I guess. My spy, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna continue to send him over, uh, over here. I'm gonna continue to build. All right, so we got a, a lot of enemies, uh, right here. A lot of enemies, boys. Uh, we've got Byzantium right here, which would be great to get. Uh, Nicodemium or whatever. So we got a couple of enemies here and there. Uh, are we actually at war with anybody except for, uh, aside from rebels? I don't think so, right? No, our only enemies are rebels right now, so we don't need to worry about anybody else. My general is really good, by the way, over here. Damn. All right, so they, uh, I think we're good on that part. Uh, we're going to send our diplomat over to um, the Greeks. We're going to see if we can't take um, Sparta from them. So maybe they're going to accept to give us 
Sparta or Termin or one of these. Let's try and do some alliance. No. Trade rights. I don't want to do anything of that sort. Map information. Regular tribute. Can I not? Oh, give region. Request. So how about you give me... How about you give me... They've got roads. They've got this. Just give me torment. It's very demanding. So what we're going to do... We're, we're going to give them money. We're, we'll give them money. So uh, private dealings, bribe. Let's make an offer. 4k for uh, for this uh, region over here. For us, boys, to have it. Generous proposal. Did it work? We accept your offer. Good. There we go. They accepted, boys. They accepted our offer. Uh, now it's time to go here. There we go. We have diplomat. So this is what we use our diplomat for. He's the one basically dealing with all the uh, uh, people and stuff. Uh, do we have uh, uh, someone in here? We don't. Recruitment and uh, and this diplomatic. You don't deal with recruitment and you don't deal with uh, with this. Yeah, he's auto managing the income, but I'm not gonna let them uh, auto manage anything else. So we don't have we have practiced range, which means we can build some range units. Wooden palisades, so we got some protection. Uh, let's just build upon our stuff. So we're gonna build our walls up. Let's build some barracks, some stables as well. And next up, we are going to do land clearance, increase food supply and population growth. We're going to do that. And roads, we're going to get some roads. We're going to get some land clearance and some port. We're building that city up big time, boys. What about Corinth? I, I want to uh, upgrade it as much as possible as well. Some stables, a blacksmith could be great. Uh, a market. Well, I don't know about uh, paved roads. Let's do some paved roads in here. I've got plenty of money, boys. Communal farming. There we go. Let's get a port. Uh, let's get some sewers. There we go. Sewer system. Market as well. Get some a lot of money going on right here, boys. We're spending a lot of money. But that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Uh, I don't care too much about uh, spending on like military and stuff. I could always get like two cavalry units, I guess, here. But that's about it. Next thing I want to uh, get right here. So what do we want to practice range for sure? Uh, a, a port. I'm going to build a port everywhere, boys. I'm going to build a port everywhere. It's giving us ports or giving us money. So it's going to be fantastic for us. We're going to be just fine. Even though I don't know what these Byrons are for. Are they like for more income or stuff? Trade routes possibly that we could do? I actually legit don't know, right? I can't attack or anything with them. So yeah, I don't know what I can do with these guys. It's kind of strange. Not going to lie. Let's get over here, boys. Let's just stay over here. We're gonna stay around their area. Uh, we we got a decent army, but I don't have an army capable enough of attacking these guys. I feel like so we gotta we just gotta keep uh, working on it right now. Gotta be careful. And over here, well, I do want. It would be fantastic to take Byzantium, but I still I wanna focus on getting this first. You know, getting my empire to grow on the actual mainland first. Uh, where are we at right now? Financial uh, side, 9k boys. Moving up in the finances. Uh, we don't have anybody else really. It feels like we're fine. Yeah, governor and everything. I don't think there's a, an actual loyalty system in this game. Don't think it was implemented just yet. So I think we're good no matter what. Uh, governor. So yeah, we do need a governor. All right, so these are uh, these are di different stuff that I didn't know about, but there's some missions you can spend, send the uh, your diplomat or your spy. You can send them on certain missions. Uh, they uh, they can fail or accept or whatever. I think that's how it works. You can send them on missions and all. You can confirm unknown. So uh, I don't know these guys. So assign these missions, confirm, where you can cancel uh, cancel it, right? So I'm not going to send them on any missions or whatever. I think uh, I don't want to really, I don't really care too much about that right now. Uh, I'm just going to skip the turn again. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, I guess. Hopefully the Greeks don't attack me or anything. There's a couple of uh, rebels I see outside my walls though. Uh, the Thracians, so these are, this is who we, they are. They want some trade rights and some map information. Sure, oh, why not? We're going to do some trade rights uh, granted with them. Perfect, there we go. That's fantastic. Let's keep it moving. All right, so we're in the next turn, boys, again. We're getting closer to what I wanted to do. I'm going to send my general over here. So now we got an army. 
with a decent general in it. We've got uh, a, some good army right here, actually. Let's send these guys over here. All right, so yeah, we're moving out. Now we got some uh, a decent army, boys. We definitely have a something decent. What's it look like exactly right here? Who is that guy? That's just an agent, a merchant. Okay, uh, this guy. Okay, so we're good. So uh, my army as a general, we've got uh, one cavalry. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five uh, melee units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven range units so we can uh send these two uh right here over here we can send these two over all right so there we go now it's 16 of them can i get some oh i can get some mercenaries good good i can get some mercenaries now which i'm tempted to do boys because otherwise it's going to take forever to send over my actual armies you know so i'm going to get over here i'm going to build um some actual uh people right here so one two three four five six seven so we got equal amount let's just keep going for equal amount right here confirm all right so let's see uh, are we full we're full so my army is full right now we can send him over here boom there we go we're gonna siege the city of course uh some ba uh, uh, battering ram will be great uh, great boys what is that scrap point i don't know what that's for i'm just gonna get a battering ram and we are gonna maintain the siege yeah so we're gonna siege addings boys we're gonna wait for them to come out to us uh we are gonna build some uh units over here for sure there's been uh, some up lights here and there there we go build some up lights uh here and there there we go okay so that's that's it should be fine boys let's just build some there we go equally amount of people well, uh, we got that we're still working on this so I'm, i want to work on my armies of course but uh still working on my uh my um, actual soldiers and all so i'll get uh, some soldiers over here same thing for you buddy i still want to work on you you got some uh i need maybe a, a third cavalry would be great so there we go i don't think i want the well one two three four five six seven so maybe two more soldiers like this i need to work on the settlement itself uh right here so what i want to do here is i need to uh, upgrade my walls city barracks cavalry barracks practice range yeah we uh we want the practice range we uh want some shipwright communal farming paved roads we definitely want all of these things boys and a trader trade income bonus we're gonna get a trader why not over here we haven't done anything with Bizo Bela Zora too much I don't have any money left though so I upgraded Tessalonica a uh, big time right now so at least there's that I don't think we can assimilate them just yet we're gonna keep my uh diplomat here for now but I don't think uh, we could uh really do too much here what I want to do I don't want to go too uh, too far away here we're just gonna go over here with my spy continue to work for it so we got the first city right here, Telus. This, this is the, uh, the city of these guys right here, the Thracians. You gotta be careful for about them, right? We wanna watch out for them and stuff. We'll make sure that they are not gonna backstab us in the back or something like that. That would be pretty bad. So I didn't build any armies over here. I gotta be careful about Corinth. It's pretty undefended right now. I do have a general defending it, but uh, I gotta be careful. It's very undefended. Uh, once i take care of addings i should I, I should be all right but still you know you got to be careful about these things uh, i think the rest is pretty much fine we got auto manage on yep so uh we're not gaining probably not gaining as much as we could but uh, i think it's fine boys uh I ju it's just because i don't have any actual governors in here or whatever auto manage tax i'm gonna match everything don't want to do that AI spend diplomacy. So we're getting 10,000. We're getting 10k per, per turn, boys. We're getting a lot. All right. So let's see my armies really quick. We got a faction there, a faction this, governor. So we got all my little armies right here. They're not moving. They're staying in their city, their main city and stuff like that. So that's fine. Uh, I don't want to move them anywhere. I want to keep them where they are. And uh, what about uh, what about anything else? So these are my two agents. And this is my fleet right here, which I still don't know what I can do with that fleet. 
Can I actually... Oh, the docks. There we go. So I can... I guess I can uh, attack their docks or something and prevent them from doing trades via the seas. Maybe that's what I can do. All right. So as you can see, if I scroll down as well, scroll up all the way, you can see it works pretty fine. It goes very quick. I like this game quite a lot, boys. It might be as good as Rome to, uh, like Rome 2. Rome 2 is one of my favorites. But I think this one might be one of my few favorites. Uh, still the old mechanics, right? Never gets old and stuff. But uh, I think it's a pretty good game. Uh, I, I really like the fact that they remastered it. If they could only remaster the uh, Total War Empire though. That would be fantastic because this is by far my favorite. We got some objectives. Diplomatic information. Uh, so these are just news okay no what about this reports recruitment reports everything okay and these are alerts and stuff okay so we don't have anything to re uh, really yeah, that's interesting we got her telling us what to do all right so we're gonna end it right here boys uh remember to give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so far in the next video we're gonna do our very first actual battle we're gonna attack assault addings take it out uh, take it for ourselves we already take took technically one city for ourselves but we bought the city so it's not like we had to fight for it or anything the uh, greeks uh, are friendly to us or kind of friendly they uh, they gave us thurman in exchange for some money so that's fine by me so there we go boys so we got uh we're expanding we expanded it a little bit not too much though let's just hope that uh everything's going to continue to go uh on our side so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the end of your video i'll see you guys for the next one Keep it easy.